Hello, my name's Stephen Hath. I'm the Market Specialist Manager in AHDB Market Intelligence. No doubt that the last year has been a difficult one for the uh, for the pig industry with prices very much under pressure, particularly in the second half of the year. And that was driven mostly by an increase in supply levels, which wasn't being met by uh, strong consumer demand. Two saving graces uh, from a UK perspective. One is the situation hasn't been as bad uh, as it has in the rest of Europe, and that's been driven by an increased retailer commitment. And the other one is that feed prices have been relatively low, and that's helped producers to remain profitable for most of the year. Looking forward, the supply situation isn't going to be very different in the coming year according to our latest forecasts. Uh, they, they, they suggest that production will again be about 2% to 3% higher. That's driven by increased productivity on farm primarily and we're not expecting a big change in the trade position either. For the market direction to change, we're really going to be looking for an increase in demand from consumers. Uh, with the pound strengthening against the euro recently that obviously makes UK pig meat less competitive on export markets and it also increases the pressure uh, on buyers to, uh, imp to buy more imported pig meat which will be at a cheaper price. Uh, and the other factor is, is the risk, ever present risk of disease. The last year we've seen the global market severely affected by um, by both PEDV in the US and several Asian markets uh, and by African swine fever in the EU uh, and elsewhere. And of course if those diseases reached the UK or indeed the wider EU market it would have a very big impact uh, on, the, on the market situation and change things completely.